Atovaquone Proguanil HCL is a medication that contains two medicines, Atovaquone and Proguanil. It is used to prevent and treat malaria caused by mosquito bites in countries where malaria is common. Malaria parasites can enter the body through these mosquito bites and then live in body tissues such as red blood cells or the liver. This medication is used to kill the malaria parasites living inside red blood cells and other tissues. In some cases, you may need to take a different medication, such as primaquine, to complete your treatment. Both medications may be needed for a complete cure and to prevent the return of infection, relapse. Atovaquone Proguanil HCL belongs to a class of drugs known as antimalarials. It's essential to discuss the most recent information with your doctor before traveling to areas where malaria occurs. As for dosage, the typical recommended daily dose for adults is one tablet once a day. It is best to take this medication at the same time each day with food or a milky drink. Always follow your doctor's instructions on when and how to take this medication. Before you start taking Atovaquone Proguanil HCL, it's important to read the patient information leaflet from your pharmacist. Take this medication by mouth with food or a milky drink that contains fat. If you vomit within one hour of taking a dose, repeat the dose and contact a doctor if vomiting doesn't stop. Swallow the tablet whole and do not chew. If you have trouble swallowing tablets, this medication may be crushed and mixed with condensed milk. The dosage of Atovaquone Proguanil HCL is based on your medical condition and your response to treatment. To prevent illness, take this medication once daily, usually starting one to two days before entering a malarious area and continuing for seven days after leaving. If needed, Primaquine can be taken for 14 days starting during the last week of treatment with Atovaquone Proguanil HCL. To treat malaria, take this medication as directed by your doctor, usually once daily for three days. It's important to continue taking this medication exactly as prescribed by your doctor and to take it at the same time each day. Do not take more or less of this drug than prescribed and do not stop taking it before completing the full treatment unless directed to do so by your doctor. In addition to taking Atovaquone Proguanil HCL, it's important to prevent mosquito bites by using appropriate insect repellents, wearing protective clothing, and using mosquito nets and insect killing sprays. No drug treatment is completely effective in preventing malaria, so it's important to seek medical help right away if you develop symptoms of malaria. When using Atovaquone Proguanil HCL for treatment, tell your doctor if your condition lasts or gets worse. Some common side effects of Atovaquone Proguanil HCL include nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, headache, diarrhea, weakness, loss of appetite, or dizziness. If any of these effects persist or worsen, it is important to inform your doctor or pharmacist. It's important to remember that this medication has been prescribed to you because your doctor has determined that the benefits outweigh the potential risks of side effects. Many people who use this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, it's essential to contact your doctor immediately if you experience any serious side effects, such as signs of severe liver problems, anemia, or severe infection. While a serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, it's crucial to seek medical help right away if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, itching slash swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice any other effects not listed above, it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist. If you're in the U.S., you can call your doctor for medical advice about side effects or report side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov medwatch. In Canada, you can call your doctor for medical advice about side effects or report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Before taking Atovaquone slash Proguanil, it's important to let your doctor or pharmacist know if you have any allergies or if you're allergic to either Atovaquone or Proguanil. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions, so it's important to talk to your pharmacist for more details. Before using this medication, it's important to tell your doctor or pharmacist about your medical history, especially if you currently have diarrhea, vomiting, kidney problems, liver problems, mental-slash-mood problems, or seizures. This medication may make you feel dizzy, and using alcohol or marijuana, cannabis, can make it worse. It's important to avoid driving, using machinery, 
or doing anything that requires alertness until you can do it safely. It's also important to limit alcoholic beverages and talk to your doctor if you are using marijuana, cannabis. Before having surgery, it's important to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you use, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. During pregnancy, this medication should only be used when clearly needed. If you are pregnant and traveling to an area with malaria, it's important to talk to your doctor about the risks and benefits of malaria prevention. It's unknown if atovaquone passes into breast milk, and the effects on a nursing infant are not known. The CDC recommends against using this product for malaria prevention if you are breastfeeding an infant weighing less than 11 pounds, 5 kilograms. It's important to consult your doctor before breastfeeding. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions with atovaquone proguanil HCL, as they can change how the medication works and increase the risk of serious side effects. Make sure to keep a list of all the medications and herbal products you are using and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not make any changes to your medication without consulting your doctor first. Some products that may interact with atovaquone proguanil HCL include penicillamine, blood thinners like warfarin and metoclopramide. Additionally, other medications can affect how atovaquone proguanil HCL is removed from your body, which can impact its effectiveness. Examples of these medications include ifavirenz, rifampin, rifabutin, and tetracycline, among others. Always consult your doctor for the best advice on taking atovaquone proguanil HCL and how it may interact with your other medications. If someone has taken too much atovaquone proguanil HCL and is experiencing severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. In the U.S., you can call 911 or contact your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, you can call a provincial poison control center for assistance. It's important not to share this medication with others, as it is prescribed specifically for you and your condition. While taking atovaquone proguanil HCL, your doctor may want to monitor your blood cell counts and liver function through lab tests. It's important to attend all scheduled medical appointments and lab tests to ensure the medication is working effectively for you. If you have any questions or concerns about these tests, be sure to discuss them with your doctor. If you forget to take a dose, take it as soon as you remember. If it's close to the time for your next dose, just skip the missed one. Take the next one at your usual time. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. When storing atovaquone proguanil HCL, it's important to keep it at room temperature, away from light and moisture. Make sure to store it in a safe place, away from children and pets. When it comes to getting rid of any unused or expired medication, it's best not to flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain. Instead, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for the proper way to discard it. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the U.S., you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.